All right, so in this Algebra 1 video, we are going to learn how to graph linear equations. Let's get started. So we've learned how to convert linear equations in slope-intercept form, which is y equals mx plus b, where b, m and b are constants. So m is the slope of the line, and b is the intercept, c-intercept, y-intercept, my bad. So we've learned how to convert linear equations to slope-intercept form. And when we're given a linear equation to graph, we need to first convert it to slope-intercept form and then graph the equation. Here's how we do that. I want you to graph x equals 5 on the Cartesian plane. All right, so hopefully you've come up with a solution. X is equal to five. Well, let's find the five on the X axis. So one, two, three, four, five. We have a point over here. Now we're gonna draw a line, it's gonna be a vertical line. It's, if, it was a, if it was cutting the Y intercept, it would be like this. But since it's cutting the x, it's going like this. This is the x-intercept. So our graph will be somewhat like this. And that's how our graph will look for this specific problem. So that's how you would graph that equation. Now let's try another example. I want you to graph 4x minus, I want you to graph 4x, right, 4x, we'll do 4x minus 2y is equal to, is equal to 4. And I want you to graph it. Now let's convert to slope intercept form. Negative 2y is equal to negative 4x plus 4. Now we can multiply every single term by negative 1 and get 2y is equal to 4x minus 4. Now we just divide everything by 2, we get y is equal to 2x, get divided by 2, minus 2. Now we can handle the equation, and we can graph it. Alright, so I'm going to keep my equation here. y equals 2x minus 2 is our equation. Now y equals 2x minus 2. We have y equals 2x minus 2 and we want to plug in x values and then find the corresponding y value. So y equals 2x minus 2. Now it's in slope intercept form. Now let's graph it so let's graph it so we are going to plug in some x values and find the corresponding y value x and y i'm going to plug in starting with a negative one negative two so i'm going to start with a negative two when i plug in my negative two two times negative two is negative four Negative 4 minus 2, that's negative 6. If you're not convinced, that's what you're going to get. So I'm going to erase all of this, 
but we already know what the corresponding y value will be. Now let's go to negative 1. Plug in a negative 1 there, 2 times negative 1, for that's negative 2, negative 2 minus 2. Well, negative 2 minus 2 is just negative 4. Now, let's put in 0. I put in 0. 2 times 0, that's 0. 0 minus 2, that's negative 2. Let's put in a positive 2. And then we're going to put in a positive 1. Let's put in a 2. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 minus 2 is 2. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 minus 2 is 2. We get 2. Let's put in a 1. Put in a 1. Positive 1. 2 times 1 is 2. 2 minus 2 is 0. I'm going to get back 0. So now let's plot some points now. When x is negative 2, y is negative 6. So, x is negative 2, y has to be negative 6, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, when x is negative 2, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, negative 6. x is negative 2, we have negative 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Over here, negative 2. Negative 6, that's going to be right over here. On to the next point. Negative 1 and negative 4. When x, and, and this is actually supposed to be negative 2. So we should actually, this should be, actually it's going to do this. So it's over here. And I can now just, Erase all of that. Alright, there we go. Now we are going to plug in a negative 1. When x is negative 1, y is negative 4. Negative 1, 1, 2, 3, 4. So it would be right over here. When x is 0, y is negative 2, 0, 1, 2. That would be right over here. When x is 2, y is 2. X is 2, Y has to be a 2. So that would be like here. And when X is 1, Y is 0. X is 1, Y... When, so when X is 1, Y has to be 0. Well, we don't even need that point since we already have some lines. And you can see the only points we technically needed here, and if I actually had like a, a ruler or a straight edge, it would be easier, but that's the graph of y equals 2x minus 2. We would actually draw a straight line that would go like that, and it would keep on continuing. And that's how we would do this. Our line would keep on continuing. So hopefully this video is helpful. And that's how you would graph a linear equation. We covered two linear equations in this video. Hopefully this video is helpful. And yeah.